This is November 26th, 1990. Laws of the state of Texas are such that in order to serve on any jury, criminal or civil, it's necessary for a person to state that they do have a belief in God and that they call upon God for help uh, with their ability to serve and ability to render a, a judgment. I'm an atheist. I don't have any such belief. There is no God. This is childish and immature. It is also catering to the Judeo-Christian religion, which is dominant in our country, and which, as far as I'm concerned, is basically insane. The governor of the state of Texas knows that the, uh, this requirement is unconstitutional. Uh, the three the justices of the Supreme Court of the state of Texas know it's unconstitutional. Everybody from Dr. Alan Wright uh, down at the University of Texas Law School know that, knows that it's unconstitutional. The Fifth Circuit judges, all of them, know it's unconstitutional. And still they persist in seeing to it that the first family of atheism must accept a God idea. My uh, daughter was put in jail for not uh, swearing, so help me God, when she was called to jury duty. My son was thrown out of the jury duty room, uh, at the courtroom. Over the last 20 years, we have had at least 70 or 75 persons go down to the Travis County courts, and each instance they have been treated differently, or they have been segregated, or they have been thrown out of the system. Recently, we have had a decision by the Fifth Federal Circuit Court of Appeals in uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. And I can't believe this, because that uh, Fifth Federal Circuit Court of Appeals said that no one, no one has a constitutional right or a vested interest to serve on the jury. And I would like to know how in the hell any person in the United States can possibly have a jury trial if they themselves cannot serve on the jury when they are called when another person is before them. So as far as I'm concerned, I feel that this is a piece of uh, junk, that this does not represent anything that American citizenry represents, and consequently, I am prepared to burn the summons that I have received. This is a summons to appear in front of Wilford Flowers tomorrow morning, November the 27th, at 8 a.m. And uh, the jury requires that I am supposed to reveal my religious preference. This is something nobody in the United States is required to reveal except Travis County jurors. And then when I get in there, I am supposed to follow uh, Texas Rules of Civil and Criminal Procedures, number 226 and 236, in which I call upon God to help me as a juror. And here's what I think about all of that. I'm using some matches from the American Atheist Convention. I think that that's appropriate. Now, if I can manage to do this, probably I'll drop it or fumble it somehow, but we'll try. This is what I think of the jury summons of the state of Texas. And this is what I think of their idea that all atheists must state that they have a belief in God in order to serve on those jurors. I feel that this is a crime against atheists in the United States and an obligation which is put upon them unfairly. And I certainly request, for example, that uh, Governor Richards would make a statement as to whether or not she thinks atheists must believe in God and the University of Texas Law School make a similar kind of statement or the Supreme Court of the state of Texas, whether they feel that this is constitutional or not. It's too hot for my fingers, and it's probably too hot for the legal system. Do you have any questions? Yeah, do you anticipate jail time because of your actions today? I have no idea, but I have principles and convictions, and I stand by them. And wherever those principles and convictions lead me, they lead me. What would you feel would be another way that, instead of having to say, so help me God, to be able to serve on the jury? Well, we've had an example of that all over the United States, but recently in Cook County, Chicago, Illinois, because about a year ago, our organization there uh, said that they did not care to have anybody come in and give this kind of a statement. And the state of Texas also uh, has um, a, um, an admonition in regard to persons who give testimony 
and they say that you can only give statements under pains and penalty of perjury. If everybody gave under pains and penalty of perjury, atheists would not be singled out. We are singled out, we are given different treatment, we have been put in jail, we have been thrown out of the court. I have been manhandled down at the Travis County Jail when um, uh, persons came and took me by the body and led me away because I would not state, quote, so help me God. This is a violation of the 14th Amendment. I think all persons must be required to do what I am required to do or alternately what I am required to do should be uh, uh, spanned out so that everyone does it. There would be no difficulty for anybody in the world if pains and penalty of perjury were used, as it should be. It's secular, has absolutely nothing to do with religion at all, and it's the only way to go. You fought, you fought some lengthy and costly battles. I indeed I have. Are you prepared to fight this battle as lengthy and costly as you have in the past? Yes, indeed I am. Anybody can send a check to this address. <laughs> it is lengthy and it is costly. It's costly emotionally, psychologically. It's costly to our organization uh, in funds. It's costly because we are taken away from our primary thrust, uh, which is uh, for church-state separation battles, etc. When we are put in a beleaguered position, then we become the defendants in an action. Any other questions? Thank you. You're welcome. Channel 7, huh? Yeah. We waited on you, and one of your friends here says he'll...